As the smell of spring approach in early March and the sound of water drops from the melting snow, I reflect back into my life for the last eight years. The life I've spent to live in this beautiful country of Norway. What I've learned from this country. What brings me here and how could I spend almost the last eight years here? Is this coincidence or have I unsubconsciously planned it? For sure, a big part of it is coincidence. I didn't know or even plan that I would spend some years in my life living in this northern part of the world. But also, I remember one thing. When I was small, I had a dream about meeting someone somewhere in the Northwest. It was almost like a combination between dream and intuition that leads me, guides me like an obsession. Under my subconscious day by day, year by year past, that vivid picture of dream is always clear and beautiful in my mind. I need to go to the West, my little mind said. But at a time, I didn't know how. So one time, I painted a beautiful picture about that place where he comes from. I painted a house with a chimney in the countryside in a peaceful country somewhere in the West. I don't know which country was that, but I know it was somewhere in the West. At least, that's what my dream told me about the place he lives and where he comes from. I didn't know how he looked like, but I know he has a beautiful soul that somehow completed mine. So, when I finished that painting, my mom said, It looks nice, let's hang it on the wall, she said. So that's how my dream has it flown, somewhere in this earth. Or it could be also the opposite, that my mind told me to paint that dream so I could see it one day before it becomes reality. I was only a small village girl in a tropical country. I've never spent or been into West, nor planning my future there either. So I grew up into teenager and adulthood, somehow forget about that dream 
that once I had like a postcard in my mind as a small child. Adulthood and a real life was taking over my life. And that painting is remained just a painting, hanging on my wall in my parents' house for years. Nobody thinking about it, nor take it seriously as something special. Rather than just a nice exotic oil painting of a little house in a beautiful countryside in the West. One day, I stumbled into accidental reality of life that brought me into the West. Little did I know that was the opportunity where finally my dream becomes reality. Yes, now I know who is it. It took years and many broken dreams to finally see that. It was just came into my surprise first when I sent some beautiful photos to my family about the country and place I live now. My sister told me, this picture looks like a picture that you painted when you were small, she said. And suddenly all become clear to me. Yes all of this and this place was my subconscious dream that I had and now towards the end of my journey living in this country what I have learned? Well, a lot. And maybe I cannot name it one by one. I've learned new language. I've learned new culture. I've found a new horizon. I've learned a lot of new knowledge. And the most important thing is, I've learned about the most important life skills. Adaptation, patience, discipline, and preservation. I've learned that Norwegian people is one of the most humble people in the world, even though the country itself level as one of the richest country in the world. So don't get trapped by this label if you're living here, because when you live in Norway, even though the infrastructure is advanced, mostly Norwegian living very humble, diligent and efficient life. They don't like to show off, but you can trust them. And although mostly Norwegian are reserved at the glance, most of them are actually very loyal, honest, and willing to help. Something that I really admire. If you live in Norway, you will learn how to deal with extreme cold weather and this is something that sounds easy and maybe it's not an issue to consider if you haven't experienced yourself. You will know what I'm talking about only when you have lived here. Something that I've never thought or considered in my life when I live in a tropical country. So here's my short note about this beautiful country of Norway. It's actually way too short narrative to tell because I've learned so much and I've experienced so much that it's almost impossible to put it in only one video. I've learned a new life. And now that my chapter in Norway is closed, at least for now, I want to thank you for this country and its people to let me experience its beauty and its complexity. Thank you, Norway. Until next time.